hi and welcome youtube it's me arjun today we're gonna discuss about bootstrap 4 setup in laravel 6 before starting i would request you to subscribe my channel that would encourage me to create more video on coming future well i have fresh copy installed laravel in the machine let me open in the text editor this one and uh, with the help of composer create project laravel laravel command i created that and uh, have given the project name as uh, laravel project and it's successfully installed and the key is also generated successfully api key is also application key is set successfully as well and I have changed the directory to the project directory and PHP artisan serve to uh, serve the Laravel project. Let me open in the web browser. That is this one. It's the fresh copy Laravel installed. And open uh, you are viewing this on the browser. If we change the view that is located on the resource webblade.php, if we copy that one, uh, select all of them, sorry, select all of them, delete, and we start with the HTML structure tag. Bootstrap 4 in there will be a Laravel 6. If I save that and let me open let me create some bootstrap button here copy and paste over here in the body and save refresh again here we got the very basic button here it means uh, up to now the laravel project is not using bootstrap so we need to do something if we go through the documentation it's the clear information is there on the laravel official website on the front end scaffolding in laravel 6 it's it provides easy starting point for front-end scaffolding using bootstrap vue.js or react here we are going to use bootstrap which is located in the laravel ui composer package which may be installed using composer that is composer require laravel ui if you are beginner for the laravel 6 then this is gonna help you to install bootstrap and make ready to use so let's get started this one is already solved i have the another command uh, command uh, window side by side so let me check the person first that is psp artisan here SRN version that is the 6.14.0 that is the latest version 6 of Laravel framework installed so let's start with the composer package to install La um, bootstrap in Laravel that is composer C -O -M -P -O -S -E -R, composer require laravel slash ui and hit enter key it takes some time to get all those composer packets it means laravel ui composer packets and install using composer this is the command that i am using
here package manifest su generated successfully if you go through the project file and SAS after CSS nothing is there up to now so we'll let's have a look on the public folder here we don't have CSS and JavaScript folder as well up to now so let's run we need to run PSP artisan PSP artisan look you will see the preset command here that is located over here that helps to swap the front end scaffolding for the application and if you want to know a little bit more about that you can use another command that is PSP artisan HLP help preset to get the information about the command line related to the artisan here is the type we can use preset type as known bootstrap view and react we are using bootstrap in this tutorial so let's dive over there well let's check the resource after css file here we haven't until now we haven't nothing over here so now time to run the PSP artisan UI bootstrap because we have already installed the UI command here that is over here composer require laravel UI then we need to install another package that is uh, PSP artisan UI that is bootstrap P-O-T-S-T R-A-P bootstrap and hit enter key bootstrap is scaffolding installed successfully and to use that we need npm install and npm run dev so let's run that one as well and install install It takes some time and we will get something changed in our project directory but don't worry about that I will explain more among, about on detail on those things before Laravel version 6 the case is different if you are using Laravel 5 version 5.8 or earlier the process is different it means the case is different i have already created video for that if you haven't already go and check my channel because it will really help you to start your project on earlier version than 5.6 this is still running the process is also uh, the process is still running so we need to wait some time to finish uh, the npm installation we just need Some command to use make use of uh, bootstrap that is uh, composer require composer require laravel ui and the next one is and the next one is 
PHP Artisan UI Bootstrap command and currently we are running the another command that is npm install npm install still running okay zero error mm, is successfully installed now after the successful npm installation we need to run another command that is pm run dev okay npm run dev command is also successfully completed almost everything that is required for installation is done let's check the file now if we check here in the public directory now we have css folder with app.css and js with app.js these are the required front end scaffolding and uh, from this as well only we need to to make the use all those uh, bootstrap uh, scaffolding file we need to we need to link to make use so let's open the welcome blade.php and if we save and refresh the web browser it's almost the same everything is same but uh, if we add a line of code over here that is link link and the reference file we are using assist step assist method assist asset and the file is if we call the asset function it uh, locates up to public directory directory then we need to include css after css file over here so css slash app app dot css and if we save then refresh now we got the awesome professional button which is from bootstrap if we go through the page resource and click here we got the bootstrap version 4 as well here let me use another some collapsing navigation bar let me copy up to here to here and paste on our project let me paste here and save and refresh again we got the nav bar as well and if we change the browser layout to the small device still the button is not working because we haven't included the js file so we need to include that one as well here let me include with the script tag script tag 
and uh, source file is the same method asset with the help of with the help of this that is SSCT asset we have the JS and inside the JS there is app.js so we need to link that one here as well JS slash app.js and save and refresh the browser again and if we shrink the browser now it's working isn't it super simple we just use some of the command that is let me start with the from the top we use the composer require laravel ui that command to install the package of laravel ui and after the successful installation we use We use another command to install bootstrap that is PSP artisan UI bootstrap and we run the and we install the npm that with the help of npm install and npm run dev and we just include the script with the help of the script tag we include the app.js file that is located on the public directory app.js and with the help of link tag we include the css app.css that is located on the app.css uh, that is located on inside the css folder that is app.css file hope you found this video useful if you have any query do comment on the comment box below and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit like and bell icon thank you